We have a very dangerous storm system coming on shore in northern Somalia. This is named Gati by the India Meteorological Department. It went from an invest area to a tropical storm, now a Category 3 equivalent on the Saffron Simpson scale here as it's moving on ashore. Just absolutely uh, dangerous with a rapid intensification of it, but also these local impacts, what I'll get to in just a second. But inside the storm, we have winds about 185, gusting up to 231 kilometers per hour. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, I'm not using the data from the Indian Meteorological Department because they are just out to lunch as far as the intensity. They were saying, that this was a tropical storm when it was coming on shore. My goodness, I, I don't even know what to make with that. But thankfully, we do have a, a secondary resource, the U.S. military out there in Hawaii, talking about these impacts. Take a look closer here, though. And this has always been an issue with landfalling storm systems in this region of the world. We have this coastal plain with these higher ridges just inland. But that coastal plain, the elevation near sea level. So... That flow on shore is for sure bringing a storm surge out here, my friends, especially in that right front quadrant. In fact, some of these, uh, most of this area is relatively lesser populated, but there are pockets of some bigger cities. Actually, just north of that right front quadrant, about 13,000 people live there. Goodness gracious, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but there are thousands of people out ahead of this storm system who, uh, not a lot of warning on it. It rapidly intensified, and that's one of the big issues when we're talking about rapidly intensifying storms uh, right prior to landfall. We've seen this earlier this year. Nicaragua, Honduras in the Atlantic, the Philippines in the Pacific, two back-to-back -back storms there rapidly intensifying. And now we had Godi hitting this low-lying coastal plain, a rapidly intensifying storm. We're talking about warming sea surface temperatures, my friends. Um, this is one of the things we're talking about. This is just more octane for storms to develop and blow up really quickly. Uh, so the, just because the oceans are warming doesn't mean you're going to get more storms out there in the oceans. But when they do develop, they got more fuel for the fire. All right, tropics across the Western Pacific. I know a lot of you are watching this YouTube channel and you're, what's going on here in the Westpac, Robert? Well, right now I don't really see anything too crazy. Yeah, there's a little low there north of Guam being sheared and pulled off towards the north and a little bit of a trough. And there's a westerly wave moving across Mindanao, bringing some scattered showers. Nothing is developing. I know I'm seeing some uh, people kind of thriving, I guess, working or building off of the recent uh, stretch of tropical systems in the Philippines on YouTube who are putting out uh, the bogus videos saying there's a storm developing out there. And I only bring it up because I've been asked a few times by some people who were smart enough at least to ask me, but these videos are getting like 20, 30,000 views on them. And that worries me because I get it. People are worried about tropical systems, especially in the Philippines. My goodness, you guys just relentless. So always make sure you get your information from a trusted source. Not saying me, local media, uh, official warning agencies as well. Not only in the Westpac, in the Atlantic, and of course also here in the Indian Ocean. But my goodness, that storm just absolutely i want to go back to it real quick here uh it is whew, that is some scary stuff i hope hope everybody gets through this all right and safely uh here on their sunday night heading into monday morning stay safe out there guys as always thanks for watching